All right, I'm gonna hop right into the next one because I want to keep playing. Let me double check one thing on the side. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Alrighty, so now um, I explored this. I can't go any further this way. So what I can do is I can go down here. How do I remember? Oh, how, how do I oh, damn it. I'm not going to do that again. Or I can go up here. I'm going to go up here because I want to go to whatever this is. So I'll go up first and then down the low path later. Was worth a try. I think I did. Yeah, you did. Also, I need to be looking for like a big rock bridge kind of thing for a painting. For my lady's painting. Give me that thing. Your dark soul for my latest painting. I still get chills if I go watch that trailer, dude. I have, that was one of my most favorite moments in Souls games. That's watching that cinematic for the first time going into the Gale fight. Give me that thing your golden runes for me i'm just doing this for me i'm not really here for anyone else if i'm being honest fuck the gods all right what are we doing out here boys just some dudes just a bunch of dudes uh yeah i'll just clear them out instead of running around and coming back Ow, uh... You stopped it. Owie. Oh, shit. Heavy crossbow. I wonder if... They obviously have this guy here to tell you about going down that way. There's some bats. I think this is just a small little thing, so I'm going to go ahead and clear it out. I don't think this extends into a larger area. Let me pop a be still vitality. All right, let me see. Watch this. Yeah. Making my way downtown, running fast, gonna kill some bats. Oh shit, I fell. Make sure I don't miss anything. I might have been wrong about this not being a way to the... Is that swamp? Hell yeah. Gotta have some more swamp. I don't know if I really feel like wasting Redmond fire pots on these guys, but you know, whatever. Okay, he's still really bad. Did he just die? We got him. Yo.
Y'all protecting any cool loot? I wonder if, um... I'm still trying to keep an eye out because I got a note that I bought from Sir Moore that says sometimes there's spirit springs blocked by rocks. So I, I'm still keeping my eye out so I can find one of those for the first time because I haven't seen one before. Alright, there was a piece of loot there. Crab. Time for a crab. Is there a grace anywhere that we can see? There's a some tombstones. More vets. <laughs> Is this game in the area under tuned or did I just pick up like a ton of skadgetry fragment blessings? Crab. Time for crab. I think there's a cave over there. Y'all got me messed up if you think I ain't killing this crab right now. He's chilling actually. Oh, piss! Yeah, this area of the game doesn't seem that highly tuned. Okay, uh, I came down from up there. I want to go over here. I think this is a cave or something. Is this just gonna bring me back uh, to the forge uh, place? Or that? I feel like I'm gonna loop back to where I. There was like a path down uh, from near the um, place I was earlier. A deep purple water lily that is on the verge of wilting uh, grows in blue flower field at the coast. Like a syrupy poison, its lecter nulls the imbiber into sweet, velvety sleep. That's cool. So I guess we'll be using that to craft some sleep items. Mm. Take these red main pots off. Slot something else on. Lightning pot. Big lightning guy. I can go left or I can go right. I always go to the right. Alright. That was worth it. Oh shit. Okay, so this is an example. If y'all heard me blabbering um, about these. So there's items that have been explaining what these are. So this guy is a tutelary deity. My understanding of what a tutelary deity is, is that someone that decided to make themselves one of the dry leaf, part of the dry leaf sect, and then they became like an aesthetic, an ascetic, ask, I don't know how to say the word correctly. Ascetic. Uh, they became an ascetic, and uh, then through 
a lifetime of strict self-discipline. Did I read this wrong earlier? Long ago, this was employed by the ascetics, who strove to become tutelary deities as a ritualistic object in their self-flagellating dances. So, so the curse blade guys, who are the dudes that wear this mask and they use those circle blades and they do jujitsu on you. So, so these guys have been called, and other other things alluded to these guys as being ascetics. Um, Right, so if I go look at uh, this is dropped by the curse blade guys. Attire of the tower is ascetics embodying their commitments to austere existence of self-control. In order to ascend from their mortal flesh into tutelary deities of the land, they heighten their spirituality through severe ascetic training. I'm gonna look up real quick what what the hell ascetic is, like as a word. Ascetic, characterized by or suggesting the practice of severe self-discipline and abstination from all forms of indulgence. So these guys are whatever, they're monks. Um, okay, so you first start off as a, a dry leaf sect monk and then you become a freaking jujitsu curse mask, curse blade guy. And then eventually you can ascend into becoming this. So um, if you, where's my, I had an item which explained this guy. Oh. Withered corpses were called tutelary deities, and revered spirit ash was said to quietly accumulate in the palms of their hands. So in the palms of these guys' hands, after they had ascended, right, um, spirit ash of those who came before, infused with potent spirituality, acquired from the corpses of horn scent and other objects that ritually decorate uh, townships and villages across the realm of shadow. I had a different item. So the monk guy dropped also... A weapon. He dropped a weapon and a hat. Let me go back to the weapon real quick. Marks it on of an ascetic's journey. So it must have been on the ascetic armor. In order to ascend from their mortal flesh into tutelary deities of the land, they heighten their spirituality through severe ascetic training. So, in order to ascend their mortal flesh into tutelary deities. So, this guy went through severe um, uh, ascetic training and eventually, like, ascended. And now he's this. And he accumulates revered spirit ash in his hand. But he started off as a dry monk who was, like, the guy we fought and got the hat from by posing in front of him. Um, with, um, right, we posed in front of a guy like this. So that guy was becoming a dry leaf monk who eventually would be, try to become an ascetic and then ascend like this guy. Um, so this guy is like a fully ascended version of like the dry leaf monk we fought. Okay, I feel like I've talked that bit to death. I don't understand anything of what it means and its lore implications. So, but just trying to put a couple dots together there. Okay, let me check. Anything to do? Nope. So where am I going now? It spit me out in the riverbed. Shit. So you can go over these rocks and go that way. Lag. Sorry. Lag. Or you can go this way. Let me make sure. Is this just a do gym? I think this is just a do gym. Or you can go this way. I feel like I hear frogs. Are there basilisks here? Is that a bat? What is that? Yeah, those are just bats. <laughs> those are rats.
I do want to be careful going through here just to not miss anything. More rats. There was a material to pick up. Round rock. Oh, piss. I wasn't really ready for that. Alright, I guess this is happening. He is perhaps a little undertuned for me at the moment, which is nice. I am grateful for that. These guys are... I'm not very good at fighting them. Heal off. Oh boy. I think if you hit him in the head, you'll stagger him faster, but also I guess that's more dangerous of a place to try to fight him from. Watch the fight. I think I dodged correctly. It's hard to fucking see shit right now. But I'm making progress. Like, I don't know how to keep track of what's going on. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Alright, I'm gonna reset to, like, daytime. And I assume he's doing holy damage. Which means I'm going to go here, and I'm going to do that. Uh, it looks like the game progressed forward to daytime, so I don't think I need to try to bother doing that manually. It's just hard to fucking see the guy. Oh, come on. Coming out of the ground. <laughs> what? Gosh darn it. Can I just, like, hide back here or something? Holy moly. <laughs> Darn it. I am learning to pay more attention instead of panic rolling, uh, so that way I can learn stuff better. I think I've been doing a decent job of learning that. Like it's okay to get hit and die a few times because I mean, you're going to kind of have to do that to learn. I need to get L2 off so I get the lightning imbument on my weapon. On swinging. Oh, that came really far around. Alright, I'm gonna try to get a couple charged R2s in while he does that. Yes, okay, that should do it. Yeah, this attempt was really good. I think I'm finally 
learning this guy's move set and that kind of thing a little bit better. Give me something good. Is that a horned bairn? Use FP to assemble vengeful spirits around the caster. Doll of a tangle horned bairn. Use FP to summon vengeful spirits. Autonomously chased on foes. Tangled horns are a symbol of spirituality. Okay, so this is like a horned people or omen thing. Um, but most young born burying the oversized horns mean a frightfully early demise. Oh, okay. So horns are like a sign of like freaking divinity, but apparently people with like really big horns, which is a sign of divi like you would think they're more divine or like divinely blessed or whatever. Apparently they die really does. I'm going to explore this right side of this river and then uh, I will turn around and do the other side on the way back. Oh shit, these are flies. I thought they were little crabs. Don't grab me. I wonder if they grab you while you're on the horse. What are you looking at? I don't think I have any armor or anything that would tell me about these guys. You can't hear these guys like talk some. Like they do speak words. There were two guys um, in the castle tower settlement uh, that were behind a gate. And you, I want to figure out what that round rock, here it is. Material used for crafting items. Shaped by the water's current. Simply throw at enemies as well. Found on ground, river breaks, breaks easily. Extensive cracking. That one guy was hiding in the, tr in the bush. Damn, there's a lot of fly guys here, eh? I think um, it would be semi-wise of me to like make use of some greases. Like I'm sure I'm sitting on a bunch of greases uh, that I could be using. Guys running up to me. Let's see if I have a fire grease. For some reason, I just feel like fire would be decent here. Let's see, guys. Make sure my horse stays healed up so I don't get knocked off. Okay, forgive me. I really need to pee. So if I die during this, sorry, but I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, I did want to check up here. Are these guys like guarding something? Seemingly not. I'm going to go ahead and circle back and just check back this way towards my earlier side of grace. Before continuing onwards. I like the idea of having an area cleared out before progressing to another one. That way I don't have too many like loose ends that I have to worry like keep track of. I would rather like discover an area and clear it out before discovering a bunch of areas, if that makes sense. That way um, I have less things to have to think about. Like, if I cleared half an area and then came back to it later, um, I might not remember as many details. As I would just clearing it as a whole. Another one? Where's this guy? Our third one showed up. I'll go ahead and use it. I have, I have full... Full flask available, so I'm going to go ahead and use one. Rats. I wonder if there's going to be any show of the Frenzied Flame in the DLC. Or other Outer Gods at all, for that matter. 
I think at this point we already have, because I picked up the Outer God Heirloom Talisman earlier. Could not tell what god it was for. Okay, so at this point I've cleared back to where the grace is, and I'm going to continue this direction as far as possible. So I can safely tell myself that I have cleared out uh, this riverbed area. And I don't need to worry about it in the future anymore. <laughs> nope. Okay. So now I am up to my furthest point. dead fly guys right there. I didn't feel like I came through here and killed them. This is a mound of bodies. Am I underneath Ailing Village? Okay. Why is there a mound of bodies here? These people fall off of something? Yeah, I wonder why there's a mound of bodies here. They're kind of below Ailing Village. And somewhat near the castle. leave them be. Okay, before I extend onwards, I think in this case I'm actually just gonna... I'm gonna clear the rest of the riverbed, like, um... Uh, I was thinking about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna go all the way to the left side and then all the way to the right side slowly kind of progressing my way forward like that until I feel like I've cleared the rest of this riverbed. Kind of like you would, uh, well, I don't know, you might, different people mow your lawn differently, but if you're mowing a lawn trying to, um, make lines, kind of like that. Might be a little cave over here. And there's... Stones that would lead to up here. Can we go? Uh, I don't know if you can go up those, maybe only down. Spirit worms guarding something. Two headed turtle talisman. That's awesome. I would really actually like to be wearing it because I'm pretty low in stamina right now. What's up, Mr. Toto? Hello. Is he gonna like attack me? Uh, two of the turtle. Two of the turtles are a favorite subject in the land of the tower due to the spir spiral shape of their intertwined necks. Turtles are known as a nutritious ingredient, symbolic of inexhaustible power. This guy only has one head. Hello. Is he wearing a crown? Does he have a crown on? Oh, he's got little horns on his head. And he's like kind of hairy. Is this a fucking divine? 
Horns are a symbol of divinity, and that's the shape of a crown. This is a divine turtle. I would like to ride the divine turtle. This is a fucking divine turtle. We we this guy and Sir Moore must be protected at all costs. That's a fucking divine turtle. Also need to swap that. Let me try something with him real quick. I doubt there's anything to do with this guy, but if I put the trinket on, does anything happen? I have a turtle shield, right? Did I never pick up the turtle shield? Oh, that's tragic. I don't know that I ever got the turtle shield. Oh, man. Sad. There, I feel like there's... I don't know if it's just... I feel like that's just a little kind of cute meme thing of them to do. I'm, I don't think there's anything there significant. I could be wrong. I, I wouldn't be too surprised if uh, you can do something um, with the turtle if you've got like the right item or emote or something. But uh, I'm going to say at this point in time, I think it's unlikely. So what the fuck else is in this riverbed? I'm assuming I'm going to... Okay, never mind. Just come right here. Was this it? Okay. Uh, looks like this is the, the end of the side of the riverbed. Goes into a lake. Anything cool looking up? Yeah, kinda. Bunch of roots on the shaded uh, tower. What is that? Oh, I didn't mean, to, didn't mean to do that, but yeah, sure, have some food, buddy. What is this? Hey. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, dude, hell yeah, hell yeah. That's why you fucking look around and pay attention right there. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, give me some of that, dude. Mush- Dude! Yes! 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 Regular ass mushroom you can fucking buy. Yes! Uh, you can't buy white flesh, but I think it's almost even better that you can just buy regular mushrooms now. Uh, what do you even wants white flesh? Fuck yeah, dude! You can- Yes! That's fucking sick! You don't have to fucking farm mushrooms anymore. The white mushroom is used for something. White flesh on the frost pots. And some of these others. Hell the fuck yeah, dude. Okay. Great Bridge North. I think that's where. It... So now I'm going to try to go the other direction. What am I? I'm 30 minutes into this. Oh. Eh, that's not where I'm meant to go. Elk River Cave. I'm now going to go the other direction. I feel like uh, going this other direction, uh, maybe at most 15, 20 minute kind of thing, um, wherever it leads me till the next checkpoint. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't think there's too many things in this video as to yet, so the timestamps and all that shouldn't be too cluttered already. Did I miss anything? Don't look like it. Oh, uh, is there... Maybe it's... Maybe there's, like, no progression this way. Maybe it's just this item. No, it looks like there's stuff on the ground below me. Greater Potentate's Cookbook 12. I'm a big fan of, of the whole throwing... Of the whole cookbook throwing pot thing they've got going on with the Hefty Crack Pots. Hefty Rock Pot. Oh, mama, that sounds... Like a Hefty Rock Pot. Throw it at S Strength Scaling. Throw at enemies to inflict heavy damage. That's fucking cool. And so far, from what I can tell, the hefty uh, pots will, like, very likely to knock an enemy over. So, uh, that sounds great to me. Oh, my fuck. I need to figure out what these fly guys are weak to. Just because I would like to know. I can go test on them. In the... Ailing village. Ailing abandoned village.
How many round rocks was it for a uh, rock pot? Three. Damn, so you kind of got to farm some rocks if you want to actually use those. But I guess it's good um, to have stuff to make a variety of hefty pots. Because like, if you always crafted a hefty fire pot, or if you always crafted a, uh, a hefty um, rock pot, then you just run out. But I guess because you're going to be making, like, one time you'll make a rock pot, and then the next time you'll make a whatever pot. Oh, I should look at the gray bird armor and figure out what's best against these guys. Okay, so fire did pretty good. Once they're coming straight at you, you can just... Actually knocked them over that time. Okay. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna go look at the grave bird armor. They are strong against lightning and holy, weak to fire. And pierce. So actually, yeah, fire arrows are like primo against them. Alright, it's a little slow for me to do this, but frankly, these guys will hit me if they get up close. So, I'm gonna do this. Somber Smithing Stone. Four. Anything going on? A little grace down there, huh? Uh, I don't think I'm done up here yet, though. Yeah, okay, it looked like you could go up to near the bottom of this waterfall earlier. Yes! Oh, this is my fucking specialty, but I don't have... I don't have cold hammer. Uh, if I had cold hammer, it'd be perfect. Um, can I make, like, cold grease? I can. And I already have, like, 19. Watch this shit. I'm about to shit on this fucking crawfish. With my skills I learned in the mountains. Uh... Get some. You get to gotta get some. Gotta get some cold damage on this guy. It's cold and strike are what you want to use against these. He got red eyes. Uh oh. So stay away from the right claw because he does all these poking attacks. What am I fat rolling? Oh piss! That's not good. Um, hold on. Okay. Yes, just stay away from the right claw. You can try to run past him on his left side. And just hit him when you get to that part right behind the left claw. The left claw sometimes will do this back swipe. And you gotta watch out for that. But otherwise, just run around him to try to get behind the left claw. When that claw goes up, you roll. Up, roll. Eventually, you'll stagger him. They do stagger uh, at some point. I think that last one he was gonna stagger. Anyway. Just try to run behind their uh, their left claw, but be wary of its back swipe. The general idea of that is that that the right claw is missing its bottom half, and it is like um, hard to read and hard to dodge because it's just so fast, and there's so many different combos with it, and there's different timings with it too. Like you throw it at you quick, and then you'll throw it at you slow, and it's 
you, a lot of times you'll pre you'll like you roll too fast because he delays it. So really, just don't even worry about the right claw. Just out well, worry about it. But how you handle it is by outranging it. Uh, don't try to like dodge it with like rolling and that kind of thing. And on the big grab attack, just watch the claw he raises up in the air. Um, when it's up in the air, you'll see him lifted up a, a little. You'll see him lifted up higher right before he grabs you. That's your cue to go ahead and roll. Additionally, you can just sprint into him. Like you can sprint into him like under his belly, and he won't get you with the grab. But you have to like really be sprinting forward if you're kind of like if you're like because right before he grabs, he'll do like a little back step too. So you like really need to kind of be up. Uh, in his belly behind him and that kind of thing uh, to avoid the grab. I, I just have a better time rolling it. Hello. I was once told a coffin could convey its passenger upon a gentle, gentle cruise to the velvet garden of the deepest... Oh, that's the sleep lilies to slumber in such a paradise. Dude, tell me about it. Is this an ad for Purple Mattress? This is a f ad for purple mattress. That or it's like just a meme, like joke about it. But you can't tell me they're not doing that. I believe it to be true. All right, what do I want to do now? Um, this episode's gone on long enough, so I'll leave that to be determined in the next episode. For now, this has been episode something, and uh, hope you've found something useful or enjoyed but I hope you have a good one and I will see you in the next one